Hey guys, it's the Clone Wars 22 today. I wanted to bring you guys a review on a portable charger I bought from Amazon about a month ago. Uh, it's the EZAC uh, 10,000 uh, milliamp portable charger. So yeah, I'll like get a good good look at this thing. I don't have the box, so. You won't be able to see what the box is, but basically there's nothing fancy about the box. Just a box with some with instructions, which you really don't need to know too much about this, other than that it's a 10,000 milliamp portable charger battery with uh, two USB uh, cables, uh, plugs, for you could charge two devices at the same time and the charging port for the device itself which you can plug in to your computer uh, comes with two charging cables there's a shorter one you see EZAC uh, pretty straightforward and you get a longer cable and if you look closely at it you may have noticed something not quite right about this cable and as a matter of fact, that is true uh, about a month, or I'm sorry, about a week, I've had the thing for a month, about a week after I had it, you know, plugging in and out of my computer or uh, uh, power, power brick for my iPhone, um, pulled on this plastic part here and it fell apart. And this part right here, that which plugs into the device itself, uh, was still lodged in the device. So you can see it was it would have been still stuck in there, and me being the idiot I was, just kept pulling on it, and it fell apart. I'll oh, see little prongs right there, and yeah. So this this cord is no longer usable. It's in pieces. So I wasn't wasn't too happy about that, but. It's not, not the biggest deal in the world. It came with a second charger for the device. So, it's not bad. I don't, I don't really care. $20, $23, eh, not going to complain. So, I mean, that knocks off some points for it. But, oh well. So, one more look. Very easy. Uh, you would just plug in, uh, in my case, you just plug in your... You plug in this USB and then you would plug it say into an iPod plug it in and it's charging very cool uh, right here you have indicator lights oh, hands covering up right here you can see there are three blue LED indicator lights there are on a fully charged when this after this fully charged there are four so that indicates that the device itself is fully charged, you know, at maximum capacity. And each each uh, dot represents 25%. So, you know, three dots, 75% of the battery is remaining. Uh, of two, 50, one, 25. And when there's none, obviously the device is dead and will serve no purpose. In, you know, it doesn't help you charging your phone if it's dead. Um, so basically, uh, wrap things up. I, I had it for a month. It works just fine so far. You know, if you need, if you're going, because I can only get about on my phone, probably about go say half the day, probably to like three o'clock before. You know, it's at ten percent battery life, and by then you're, you know, you're stressing for battery life. You know, because you don't want to come home by five o'clock. You know, three o'clock comes. And your battery's dead, the phone's no good, and you're out of luck. So if you're like at an event or a party and can't find an outlet or anything, this this device can come in handy. And really, 23 bucks isn't all that expensive for something I can get on a full... When this device is fully charged, I can probably get about five full charge... Five full 100% charges on my phone before this device itself is totally dead. So that's 
pretty that's that's good you can you know keep this probably around for three days and not have to worry about charging it so like I said you can either charge it in your computer or you can use it like a USB power brick something like that and yeah I mean other than this cable breaking I have really no complaints about the device itself it seems to charge my phone just fine uh, so oh, I have one little thing too um, is one this port here this port right here is a 2.1 amp charging port and charging rate or whatever and this is a 1.5 amp so if you plug it into this one right here you're gonna get faster charging times so that might be for more appropriate for say an iPad or Android tablet so yeah uh, I would probably at a out of five stars I'd give this a four just because of this guy right here so uh, other than it breaking I'd give it a four out of five if this never broke I'd give it easily a five out of five but just because you know we spent money got two chargers and this guy broke you know when this breaks you got to go buy more or have to buy might have to buy a whole new device I haven't done much research on extra cords or cables or anything so uh, thanks for sticking around and hearing my opinion on the the easy Yak 10,000 milliamp portable charger hey guys just want to thank you again for uh, sticking around for my review on the easy Yak portable charger uh, if you wouldn't mind if you enjoyed the video uh, I would I always greatly appreciate when you guys hit the like button below and if you have any questions or comments uh, positive negative whatever um, you know feel free to leave leave a comment below I mean uh, if you have any questions I will gladly answer them if I didn't cover it in my in my review that I just did on the charger um, and if you are interested in future videos of mine uh, please hit that subscribe button because that's the fastest way for you guys to know that I have uploaded anything to YouTube and just makes things a lot easier too so thanks again for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next video